Okay, week 11, part three. Um, so, sorry, my notes are hung up on the tree, which is why I keep looking over here. Um, so the persona means the role that you play in your real life, the, the version of yourself that you show to the world. Um, but some of these roles are roles that people take on. The, uh, off, you, you, you choose your roles. You have a certain amount of choice over your role, I guess. Not, not as much choice as maybe you would like. Um, but but like, like an actress, like so Vogler is an actress and then she picks the role Electra and she plays this role uh, on stage. And then she, and, and she stops speaking. Completely. She refuses to, she just doesn't speak to anyone, and they send her to a kind of mental hospital, and Alma's the nurse who's told to take care of her. Um, that, and then it's about the two women interacting in, in solitude. Um, the, but Alma tells a little story at the beginning. She talks about her husband and how she's going to get married. Um, and that she, or she, maybe she, maybe she is married, but she's, she's, she's going to get married or she's married, um, and she's going to have, um, she's going to have kids. And that's the role wife and mother is the role that Alma uh, is expecting to play in the rest of her life. Um, and it's, and, and I, it's, it's like a trap. It's like a little trap. It's like, here are the, here's the role. Here's the rules. Mothers are like this. Uh, wives are like this. You're going to be a wife and a mother. And she's, she's happy with it. She says at the beginning of the movie, um, she's sort of happy with that role. She feels because people feel comfortable um, where something is, the way they expect it to be. It's why people like movies, like Marvel movies, where it's always basically sort of the same. Uh, and they feel very uncomfortable when you throw something like Persona at them. And so Alma's excited. She's just looking forward to sort of being a wife and a mom. It's a role that she wants, but it's also kind of all planned out. Like she doesn't really have um, uh, full control over things. Um, you see this echoed in the letter that uh, uh, Vogler's husband sent to her, um, where they, she said, they talk about how we are like children governed by forces that we can't understand. Right, that just like gravity, um, that, that gravity is like a physical rule that you have to follow. But there's also social rules that people get trapped into. Like you just, you're, I'm sure some of you out there, your parents just expect you to have children, and they just that's what they're expecting from you. And there's a lot of like heavy pressure for you know you to be that kind of person, or you know they expect you to be straight, or they expect you to, whatever. Um, and there's all these social roles that people like fall into, right? If you're a man, they expect you to act like this. And if you're a woman, they expect you to act like this. And if you don't, they're like, oh, you're not acting like a man. You better change. Um, so the, that's one of the things the movie is about is it makes a link between the kind of roles that Vogler plays on stage and, and the kind of social roles like wife and mother that Alma will be a part of. Um, okay, cool. We're doing pretty good. Um, there's also a crucial moment early in the movie where... Um, uh, Vogler sees on television a monk who is on fire. Um, this was a real thing that happened. You're actually, when you see that, you're actually seeing, that is not, they didn't, they didn't make that on a stage with CGI. That is an actual human being who burned himself to death on, per on purpose. Um, it is real news footage. It was a very famous piece of, of, of news footage in the 60s. Um, he was a, a Buddhist um, who was... Um, he was protesting the persecution of Buddhists. Um, oh my God, I can't even read my own handwriting here. Oh, Buddhist persecution by yeah. I, okay, so Christians were persecuting Buddhists, and he was drawing attention. It was like a it was like a social protest to draw attention to his cause. He poured gasoline all over himself and set himself on fire. Um, that moment is a is a striking thing. It's a crazy thing to do to pour gasoline all over yourself and set yourself on fire just to draw attention to a social issue, to protest. I mean, we, you, yeah, I mean, we're, you know, we're excited about protesting and social change and get out there, change the world. But like, Jesus Christ, setting yourself on fire, it's like very, very intense. Notice that that's not a, that, that's a, how do I put this? If getting married and having children is the sort of easy path because it's all planned out and it's obvious. Setting yourself on fire is not a social role. Like that's a that's an act. That's a really like Alma can become a wife and a mother without even really thinking about it. She can just fall right into it. It's just a very she barely has to make a choice because life flows in that direction in this society. But setting yourself on fire is a very aggressive choice to do something really unusual. Um, and dramatic, and really outside, so outside the norm that you, you, you've almost broken with all your social codes. Um, okay, so there's an important thing. Okay, so we're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that later, I think. I don't know, it's a difficult film. <laughs> um, 
holy, holy shit. I really, I thought about not playing it this semester because I was like, I was like, but then I, I, I was like, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. And, and anybody, is anybody even watching these videos anymore? Probably not. Uh, I'm just, I feel like there's only a handful of people who are even doing this. I don't know. I make the videos because I get paid and because I enjoy it. So I'm gonna, just going to keep making them for me and anybody who's here to join me. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Um, all right. It's just me and Sophia. All right. So let's look at... Where, what am I, where am I going next? All right. Okay. Um, uh, there's also an extremely dramatic moment, like, similarly, when Vogler tears the picture for child in half. That is not normal motherly behavior. This is, again, the roles, the social roles are pretty simple. Um, one way to think about social roles, by the way, I think this is a really useful metaphor, is like a river, right? If you're on a boat, like a canoe in a river, and the river's going one direction, right? If you, if you go the social roles that people expect, like if you're a man, you act a certain way, or if you're if you're a woman, you know you wear a dress, and if you're a man, you be tough, and if you're you know if you're a woman, you get married and you have a baby and you be a mom. If you do that kind of and you dress a certain way, if you do that kind of stuff, it's like going with the river. Now it's possible to canoe to the side or even backwards and do something else. It's possible, right? So for and people do and people will do that, but you get a lot of resistance from the water. It's very difficult. It's easy to move down the path of. Be a wife, be a, be a mom, right? Be, if you're a man, be tough, be manly, do, you know, don't have emotions or whatever. So people will go down those paths, that river very easily. But if you try to do something else, like, for example, if you're a man who wants to wear makeup or you're going to be gay or you're going to, you know, if, 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 you're, if you go a different direction, it's possible. It's possible to do these things. But you, you hit resistance every second. You hit resistance. Like if I wear a lot of makeup people are going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? All the time. They're going to do it all. It's going to be every couple of minutes, somebody's going to want to say something to me about why the fuck I have so much makeup on. Not in New York, because New York's cool. But you try leaving New York and doing some of these crazy things, then people will lose their minds. Um, this is a really important way of thinking about what's happening with Alma and Vogler. Tearing a picture of your kid in half is like, that's not going the direction you're supposed to go. That's not the direction the water is going. Um, okay, cool. Um... So they talk about um, uh, they talk about one of the things that's making the, the doctor uh, one of the things the doctor says um, about Vogler um, is this is is the difference between seeming and being and this is really where you get into the fucking philosophy shit. There's what seems that if you know Hamlet, this is a Hamlet thing, but I'm not going to do Hamlet right now. Um, but there's the difference between what seems to be, meaning what you look like on the outside, your persona, your role, and then what's going on in here. Um, and the doctor talks about how there's a chasm, meaning like a, like, a, like a canyon, that opens up between who you are your, for yourself and who you are for other people, um, right? Because here's the thing. If you pretend to be a certain version of yourself, like on Facebook, but you may, right, you may, pretend to be a, you, you may pretend to be a certain kind of person on Facebook, you may pretend to be a certain kind of person with your parents, but if you do that for a long time, something really bad happens, which is that suddenly you realize nobody knows anything about you because you haven't shared anything. You haven't been intimate, right? And that's, this movie's all about intimacy because the faces up here. But you have, if you haven't shared anything with anybody, um, if you haven't really told anybody who you really are and how you really feel inside, you're going to get alienated. It's like this chasm, this gulf, because suddenly people are talking to you like they know you, but they don't. But that's kind of your fault because you put up a mask. And again, that uh, changing metaphors here, but that river encouraged you to take certain kinds of roles very easily, like wife and mother and dude and whatever. Um, and that, and, and, that, but eventually the problem is, is you realize people don't really know who you are. And that's one of the things the movie is about. Um, Vogler, um, both wants people to know who she really is, but also she's tired of lying. That's why she, one of the, the doctor's theory about why she's silent is because to be silent means to tell no more lies. If she doesn't speak at all, then she isn't lying because she feels like her whole life is a lie. By the way, her whole job, professional actress, Electra, is to, is to say things that aren't true. She'll say, I am Electra, but she's not Electra. She's Vogler pretending to be Electra on stage. But also it's kind of like that in life where you constantly put a version of yourself out there, but it's not real. And she's kind of sick of the whole thing. She, theater has taught her that life is like theater. You're constantly pretending and she's sick of pretending. And so she just shuts the fuck up and she refuses to speak because... Um, this is what we think at the beginning of the movie, um, because she she doesn't want to lie or play a role. She wants to somehow be herself. 
Um, and silence is the first step in that process, maybe. Okay, by the way, there's whole retreats you can go to where they don't let you talk all, all weekend. I've never been, obviously. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.